Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you for taking the time. My name's Hello Good Game. Pleased to be your host within this Magic the Gathering Arena Deck Guide video, showcasing Bean Soup, a Golgari mid range build focused around Up the Beanstalk and the new Overlords. We'll break down our deck list in depth, discuss the strategies as well as synergies held within, providing you with a deeper understanding of how to pilot this deck effectively. Uh, furthermore, demonstrating against the best decks as well as players within the Mythic Ranked gameplay footage, and then concluding with our channel news and wrap-up thoughts. If you want to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, maybe even join the community Discord. It would be uh, pretty cool of you. Let's take a look at the deck. All right, so up the beanstalk, two mana, and enchantments. Whenever it enters and whenever you cast a spell with mana value, five or greater, draw a card. This is really cool because now we can use the impending cost from our overlords that will trigger the beanstalk, which is nice because we're casting it for a reduced, but it still enters as a five, uh, which is quite nice. And um, when it enters, you're going to mill four cards and then return a non-avatar or planeswalker from your grave to your hand. And uh, like I said, if Beanstalk's in play, when you're impending, you're still going to get to draw off Beanstalk, which is great. And uh, the Overlord of Haunted, uh, Hauntwoods, sorry here, as well. This will impend for three. It's a 6-5, and uh, whenever it enters or attacks, you're going to create a Everywhere Land, which is all colors, or all uh, land types, which is quite nice. And then uh, I guess the Overlord of Belmark is a 5-5. Five -five. I should mention. So these are really cool. You know, you want to get Beanstalk in on two, uh, one of your overlords in on three, and then, you know, you're going to town. Uh, I like to stack up my overlords after my Beanstalk and then wipe the field with a deadly cover-up. Five mana. As an additional casting cost, you may collect evidence six, exiling six mana value from your grave to destroy all creatures. And then if you do collect evidence, you actually get to exile card from their graveyard and also from like take that card not only from their graveyard but also from their hand their library as well which is pretty cool and then um you know they're going to shuffle and draw a card for each uh copy of it that was exiled from their hand right so that's pretty cool um you know because we're stacking up value that's not exposed to the field wipe right uh on the side of up the beanstalk we also have the unholy annex for three at the beginning of your end step, draw a card. If you control a demon, each player is going to lose two life and you gain two life. Otherwise, you just lose two life, right? Um, and then we can flip this later on or unlock the door um, to Ritual Chamber for five. And then we get to create a 6-6 six, six demon, which is pretty good, right? So an additional draw engine there for us. Um, the life loss is not only mitigated through the chamber, but also through the virtue of Persistent. Lock Thwain Scorn for two at Sorcery as the adventure. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until the end of turn. You gain two life, right? So that's quite good for us here. And then we have the Deepest Betrayal as a 4-4 four, four, or 5 mana with Flying and Lifelink. Whenever it attacks, each opponent will discard a card. For each opponent who can't, you draw a card. And whenever they discard a land card, create a 1-1 one, one black token bat with Flying. And when it dies, return it to the battlefield as the Temple of the Dead. Uh, and you can tap that for black mana or pay three, tap it to transform it back to the bat if uh, one player has only um, one or fewer cards in hand, which is quite good, right? Um, and of course, you know, that's a five drop for us. This can be a five drop for us as well on the Beanstalk if we cast it as the chamber first, which is quite nice. And then, uh, you know, it's just a bunch of removal in the deck, really. Um, you know, cut down four copies, one mana, instant speed, destroy a creature with total power and toughness, five or less. Three copies of Terra Sunder for two, exiling enchantment or artifact if you kick it for an additional two you can take non-land permanent lily two copies of this for three three loyalty plus one each player discards a card minus two target player sacrifices a creature and then finally minus six separate all permanents target player controls into two piles and that player will sacrifice all permanents in a pile of their choice which is game breaking and then you know we already talked about that virtue lock the scorn but we can also cast it of as the persistence for seven um, and at the beginning of your upkeep, target creature from a graveyard will be put into the battlefield under your control, uh, which is great. So that can take it from your graveyard as well as your opponent's graveyard, which is quite nice. Typically, we're going to go into our opponent's graveyard or ours to grab 
the avatars. Um, the Overlord can grab non-avatar, right? Is why I say this, which is the Glissa. It's the Alkazots, and it is the Liliana that the Balemark can grab from the grave. Virtue will grab Balemark, Hauntwood, and then our opponent's stuff. And then um, Glissa. You know, she's pretty good in deck as well. 3-3 three, three with First Strike and Death Touch. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may choose one. Draw a card, lose one life. Destroy target enchantment or remove three counters from target permanent, which can be our own impending counters. Quite nice. So the impending counters uh, will reduce at our end step, and when there are none, it will become a creature. Five for the Balemark, four for the Hauntwoods. Mirix in deck alongside a pair of cottages for our creature lands. Passage, Waste, and Marsh for consistency within our dual colors, and a few swamps and forests to finish off the deck. I hope you enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community Discord, but most importantly, kick back, relax, and enjoy today's gameplay. You go first. Let's keep seven about it. Beautiful curve, right? Like, this is... Hello, good game, Worthy. Such a friendly emote. And it suits me so much, because I always am like so disappointed, but then also quite happy. Mm, whiff. Ouch. Okay. Overlord, three lands. Not terrible, I guess. Search for basic land or desert. Into hand, shuffle, gain three. Toss my cut down. Hmm, that's good. I guess its damage is done. We may as well let it sit there for now. We can deal with it as needed. I do really like the avatars, though. Fantastic. Got some removal over there. Worries me. Bummer. Take it. Ah, it's tapped. Unfortunately. Good card. Not bad. They get to explore, and that's always good. Nowhere to run. Not concerned about it. Not overly, anyways. And they're tapped out, so we can hit with the cottage if we want. I think I just straight up play my Overlord. Other one is in. Double Lordies! Oh, Lordy. Oh, man, that's going to be a good deck name. 
overlordy, but oh lordy. Can we use the AI to make a song? <laughs> like up the beanstalk and get a reunion. To That's quite good. Cut down, worthless. Garbage card against us. I mean, another land and a mill four non avatar back. We get the bat. Ooh, no, we take Lily. Just for sacrifice, right? The fact that the Overlord can grab Lily on a back is is too much. One of your friends has to leave. Okay. I mean, they're tapped out. Another Sentinel in play. Or oh, that's the same Sentinel. Lost my mind. This should close the deal. Okay. Very nice. All right, we're going to go first here. Keeping seven. Marsh on one. We don't really have a two drop. That we'd like, right? It depends what they're playing of. Yeah, this is... Two of them. Two of them? Play a creature on one, I dare you. I swear on all that is holy. If you have a one drop... Are they going to play an enchantment creature? Let's play this now. Set yourself up. Okay, no haste. Just force a sacrifice, right? Any target. But that takes it away from my health total. This is confirmed whether they have protection or not. Right? Screw your protection. You get out of here! Now they're going to manifest dread. That's actually bad. And we're going to all the day. That's... Are we dead? No, because I didn't get the attack. We do take 10, though. And they make three tokens. I don't think I should play this game anymore. <sighs> okay.
Hmm, so that was fun. Did everyone have a, a good day? <laughs> oh my god. Bro. You go first. Let's keep seven. One, two, three is super duper favorable. Bail mark is a go. Whifferoni. Dang, that sucks. A beanstalk, too. Oh, that's brutal. Here's our draw engine. A lot of land. A lot of land. We milled a couple lands too, didn't we? Two of them. Hmm. I'm gonna cut down which we'll... Three of, if we didn't. Four of what?! <sighs> Shuffler's gone to London. Wow. That's impressive. These are garbage cards in the control matchup. So glad we have four of them in the top ten. <laughs> That's insane. Are they going to reanimate something? What's going on over here? Removing our overlord, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Gets rid of their treasure, forces a, a discard as well. I probably would have just paid life for. Rather than remove the demon, honestly. Then Glissa? I think so. Okay, we have our target. As long as they don't reanimate it this turn. Even if they do. Well, that way. They're going to get the draw. They'll be able to handle it, but... We'll see. Four mana. Well, it'll be five after the treasure's made. They're doing it. I do not like this card. A 
Hope they have a backup card. that we just lost. <laughs> You're doing it? Oh, good for you. Life total. Really shouldn't have done that in case I had another virtue and I even showed them that I had it. So that's bad manner. Oh, it's self-exiled? I can't take it. That's actually Belgoth, Atali, Traxa, Overlord, Lily. Yikes. That's not good. Cut down. I'm still in that same match of the four cutdowns and opening hand. Yes. Okay. Found my excuse why we lose. Perfect. <laughs> you don't play like this? That's just me? My bad, my bad. Maybe Lily. I don't know. We'll see. Just trying to draw out the triumph. A fight? And you think you can I guess our annex is just going to kill us. <laughs> you Better than getting killed by Holly Atraxa. Bail golf combo, I guess. Maybe they act hastily here. When I win, you're telling me what you know. Yeah, we need to get rid of our own room. I have terror under as well. Terror Sunder? These cut downs. Man. I guess I should throw the cut down not to land, but what the hell? Take it. Gotta get rid of Okay, Lily's there. Then they've got the cycle engines with the collector's vault. Drop it. Nice. But then, how do we deal with Lily?
Better than dying. And then we have a couple turns to deal with Lily. Maybe. Holly in the grave. Why'd they discard it? Oh, there's another Traxit in the grave. Hmm. Getting after it, huh? Down. We just need to deal with Lily here. You won't be outsmarting me. Nice. Off the top! Back to back, Terra Sunders. Like a legend. Sorry, I'm not interested in dying today. Now I think I hold this. Like yes, we could wipe Atali, but they still have Velgoth then, and they still have an Atraxa here. And so I think we need to hold it. Because they might play Veilgoth. Tough. Tough. They have also that reanimator spell. We could take a like we took the first reanimator spell, but they have Faithful as a second. Oh, I didn't see that. I looked at the lands and did not see that. Oh, no. I didn't notice the land. Shoot. That's a little bit harder to deal with here in one turn. LOL. Creature to block it. Oh, they got a second reef out! Just out of spite, we gotta do it, homie. Now we've lost. Good game. Lands are good here. Lands are really good there. Very good. These lands mill a lot. Very good. Very, very, very good. Ouch! On the draw. Not terrible. Nothing has to go. Mono black. Beautiful. Oh. What's that? I do draw a card though. They just take a land. Pretty good. Oh, a lily on the play. That's beautiful. That's really good. You think you can win? <laughs> we all have things we'd rather. All we can do is match from behind. That book. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people I'm tired of your secrets. Oh no, I need that forest. Because the Mirix is only green this turn. I just misplayed so hard. Top tech of force. Don't worry.
must be made. We could have just played Glissa defensively, but they might have top decked removal. And they could have just Lily minused. We'd rather forget. You make a Mirex, which is okay. We're in a weird spot here. I'm tired of your secrets. Good place. To... Good land. I'm gonna take care of their a hurry. You won't be outsmarting me. Slightly better spot with our lands here. They're saving us. We've been getting punished today in our matches because people have had better lands than us, though. So it's nice to, you know, win because of that within the same day and section of time. Good game, Monoblock. All right, going first. Yeah, seems good. This is always tapped. And I think we're gonna probably get in on too quickly. Nah, I need three. We need to use uh, so to end I. The one time, where, where's my quad cut down, dude? Have rules or cat go on the laptop. Second, if they remove the first, should be quite good defensively. Specifically against that bodyguard. Dang, bro. Ring out, really good. There might be a problem, and we're just going to wait and go on to this in case there is. Dealt with it earlier. That's okay, though. We'll just end step it. Cavern of Souls is a fantastic card. Specifically with the Ley Line of Transformation. All my creatures are encounterable. That's a hard drop for me. Just a 5-5 five, five, baby. Give me a lily. Ah. Just gonna hang back. Make a demon. All right, we need a flyer. Curving out on these lands is nice. Let's grab a forest. Then we'll leave a dual land up. Maybe they can go wide enough. I don't know. Ooh. Okay. I see you. No block. 
It's really good. They're in a good spot just to attack, right? I like that life gain, though. That's a good card. And the hair's a good card, too. Going so wide, yeah. Might even just have it here. I'd like to be attacking, but dang, brah. I'm boxed in. We got the land to defend with two if we need. Bean stock's quite good. to take that bat at some point too. Probably this point we would I don't even have to do the math on that. There's no, there's no way around that. They went so wide on us. <sighs> Dang, bro. Going first. Oh, I fear we'll need it. Keep seven. Cottage in on one. Removal as needed. straight to the beanstalk draw a card no removal not bad Azorius is it a control deck counter spell question mark he draw a card great impending for three which beanstalk picks up as five fantastic and we get a land which there's a start So this is a top 41 player. This is... The one who plays this game. It's going to be a counter spell for sure, but we draw a card, so I think it's... At least it pays for itself. It land? Wow. He it must just get removed. Get lost? Soul Partition. Okay. Some of the more favorable removal. It's too much removal of my own. That demolition field is pretty annoying. Maybe we should have forced them to use it. They wouldn't have had the opportunity to do this. I just I have a lot of removal against a control deck. My whole hand, you know. Not good. Another field. Aye, aye, aye.
Now's a bad time to play Glissa because they're going to wipe the field. So I'm going to force them into the demolition field. Yep. Fortunately, we're in our attack phase, so the mana we could float... Overlord out. Not exposing Glissa to a field wipe, giving them a two for one. Attack trigger off is nice for the land. Thank you very much. Don't appreciate that. Three mana. We're in with our unholy annex. I think they have no more lies that we sidestepped our draw engine with. Well, no, because they would have used it on Glissa, I think. Unless they have... They're prioritizing their interaction, of course. Raw, we do lose. Against a control deck, I don't think it's too big of a problem. And yeah, they want to remove that first. Let's attack an exile creature here, right? Not on my watch. Ooh, get lost. Ooh, we almost should have flipped it to the demon. Okay. Let's try with our deepest trail. We draw a card for it. No more lies. At it. But down can go. I'm going to use. What's their win con? the Jace. Probably one of them. Okay, three mana up. They have a Restless Anchorage. Guess that's a potential win con. There, there. The plus on Glissa. Oh, straight to the... Not bad. Good cards in there. Your interaction here has to be.
We don't have nine though. I don't want to exit. I want to destroy it and then take them all. Oh, we do have nine. These don't count as lands. But it's still not a it's still an exile. Take the whale. Okay. Before they draw. Counter spell. No more lies. Full partitioning their jays. Huh. That's uh that's a good play. Quite good. Very good, in fact. Already down to twenty and draw. It is for them, it's not for me. Saving that Jace is really good play. Another to win. They always do. No, because they built their end. Uh, I gotta take things that we. Now it's just a whale. That land. They have a lot. Gonna be a uh, awkward game. Can I exile my only beanstalk to stop drawing? Oh, wow, you only have one card in library. The answer to that is. A long time ago. <laughs> oh, I just realized. Nice win, homie. Really good control win. They don't even need to win. They've just mailed me. Ace is nice. He's a good card.
Good game. Beanstalk. You have a darker side to you, do you not? While it was a tough day in the arena for me, I do like the deck quite a bit. Uh, within the testing, before the recording, all, always, right? Um, you know, the deck performed really, really well for us. I love the Unholy Annex. I think this is a fantastic card. Um, really, really good. And the fact that it has that 6-6 six, six attached to it is outrageous. And then the Beanstalk synergy with the Overlords is is silly. And, and you know, I think you're going to see that with all the Overlords. You know, maybe Tyrmir Beanstalk, dare I say. Right? That's kind of been on my mind. Maybe we add red to this. It's a Jund Beanstalk deck now all of a sudden. So there's a lot of different ways that we can go with this build uh, and the synergy into the future. Some cards that I considered. Um, well, that can't be right. The Harvester of Misery can be brought back with the Overlord. Um, yeah. No, this is it. I mean, if you have any ideas, let me know. This is, like I said, this is like... Um, you know, a prototype deck here, right? Uh, fresh out of the off the factory floor for you. So um, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you would like to see with this build. Maybe we go with some different colors. Or we just add some specific cards. Thank you all so much for watching. Have an absolute magical day. It's been my pleasure. And I'll see you soon in the next.